And uh, so what we uh, endeavor to do is uh, prepare uh, some songs, especially uh, with regard to the resurrection of our God. And uh, Brother Rick, <coughs> excuse me, Brother Rick, he, uh, he has some doubts about being able to sing completely this particular song. Uh, that song, I should say, but I want you to know you made it now. It gets, it gets better.
I bring him forth to you that you may know that I find no fault in him. Then Jesus came forth wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said to him, Behold the man. When the chief priests, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered, and We have a law. By our law, he ought to die. Because he made himself the Son of God. Pilate therefore heard that saying he was more afraid. He went again to the judgment hall and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Speak thou not unto me. Know thou not that I have power to crucify you and have power to release you? Jesus answered, you could have no power at all against me except it were given you from above. And therefore, he that delivered me yeah, to you has the greater sin. I'm going to stop that. And I'm not going to stop there, but I'm going to stop reading there. I want you to particularly pay attention to what Jesus said to Pilate when Pilate claimed to have all power in his hand. Jesus said to Pilate, the only power that you have is the power that was given you from above. Think of me. Then he goes on to say that the greatest sin is against the one that delivered me to you. So you mean greater than crucifying him. The one that betrayed Christ has the greater sin? Y'all better hear me, church. Our time needs the church. Watch this. I was going to say like never before, but ever since the sin of the garden, and the sacrifice for sin was given. Mm -hmm. The world has needed the church. Right. The question is, what are we doing with the authority given to us? Do y'all hear me? Here's the, here's the thing. I said, that God says that if you will trust him, yes. he will change your mind. Yes. I said to the congregation earlier this morning, our communities are laughing at the church. Because what we do too often is build beautiful edifices. Yes. We even, and they don't even have to be so large. But, but we put stock in having a beautiful place to come, sing, and shout. But inside here, the work is not in here. They took our Lord and they mocked him. Put a 
crown on his head of three to five inch thorns. Pressed them on his brow and they, they took one of Pilate's royal robes. <coughs> yeah. They took one of Pilate's royal robes and placed it over the bloody body of Christ. For they had scourged him all night long. Yeah. And as they put one of Pilate's royal robes on our laws, as he is no doubt weakened from not having anything to drink or eat, they said to him, All hail, O great king. Yes, indeed, they, they, they mocked the very king of the universe. But you've got to understand, and I do understand, as I said earlier, they didn't believe on Christ. But now, and, and if I would ask, if I would take a survey, and, and I would say, how, how many of y'all believe on Christ? Yes. So many hands would go up right. in this room. Right. But now, what does your life say? Yes. Does your life say yes. what your hand would say? Yes. Does your life say what you make your mouth say? Yes. For what for us is here. You see, you cannot make your life say. Your life speaks for us. That's it. See, what you live doesn't coincide with what you say. How does, how does daddy, how does mama stand up against them? Yeah. And I keep on talking about how do they stand up against what the fuck? How? How do they stand up against Wale? How do they stand up against R. Kelly? The greatest sin. It's for the church to be the answer and not answer anybody. Our responsibility is more than actually can be uh, spoken by words. But if you are just watching what's going on in our time, I say to you, I say to you, and, and, and I look at all of these beautiful babies. Who are they because of you? Who is your son? Who is your daughter? Because of you. And, and yes, sir, yes, ma'am, you, you're not looking at someone that, that is so high and lofty that, uh, uh, that, I can, that, I, that I have the audacity to look down my nose at somebody. You need to know that, that I was lost, but now I'm found. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb of God. And, and listen, do, do you know how awesome the Word of God is? The, the, the word of God said in this very gospel, John says that, that as they put the Lord on the cross, yeah. and, and I have said before how the Romans had perfected crucifixion. That they made it so that a man placed on the cross and the upright of the 
the cross would have a little ledge to stand on. So that when they drove the stakes in what we call the wrist, that what they found out that if you hang the man just right, It will compress the lungs so that he can't breathe properly. And what he will have to do is push up yeah, on that ribbon through his feet. Push up, catch some breath, and then drop back down. They wanted you to suffer yes. long. Yes. Well, God says that they hung the Lord there. Yes. And after so many hours, day was getting late. For it was a special time for the people of Israel when Passover would be exactly on a Sabbath day. Yes. Didn't happen, but every several years. All right. And so they decided that they would break the legs of the three that were crucified on that Friday. And so the word of God says is that they came and they broke the legs of the two thieves that hung with Christ. But when they got to Jesus, the word of God says that he was already dead. So they didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers, just to make sure that he was gone, he took his legs that had a 10 to 12 inch blade on it. And he thrust it in the side of the Lord. Watch this. Watch this. And the Bible says that when he thrust the blade through the side of the Lord and pulled it out, that came out of his side blood and water. I don't know if I got any doctors in the house. But somebody did a study. And there is a part on the biological self that is called the pericardium. It is the sac that surrounds, yes, the coronary area of a man. There are some folk that, yeah, that conjecture yeah. that when he thrust the spear yeah. in the side of Christ, right. that he punctured right. the pericardium. Right. There is a corruption that happens right. to the blood yeah. where the blood separates itself into two fluids. Yeah. Yeah. One of the fluids yeah, is if red is all get out when it comes outside of the body. But the other fluid which was a part of the blood has separated itself from the blood. And it looks just like war. Well, my sis, there are three, according to the word of God, that bear witness. Yeah. The Bible says, the apostle Paul says, there are three that bear witness. Yeah. As to who Jesus is. The water. The blood. And the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Well, I said, 
I don't care how buck our young people are. I don't care what the psychologists and the psychiatrists say about our young folk. God is a mind regulator. God is a heart fixer. God can change a man. And I know I know, I know, you think that's some red bottom shoes. Can change your mind. Chapter 
chapter 1. If you ask them about John chapter 1. In the beginning, God said, let there be. And there was in the beginning was the word. Word was with God. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, and the word was God. Yes, and the word became flesh. Yeah. Yeah. We beheld his glory. Yes, the glory as of the only begotten Son, mm -hmm. the Almighty God. Yes. This is our legacy. Not, not, not houses and, and land and, and cars and, 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 and all of these things that, that make us glorious to one another. You want to be recognized as the Reverend Dr. Bishop and the Big Dog Big Cheese? Well, you need to understand, hey, 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 ain't no, ain't no Reverend Dr. Bishop church 
the authority yes. to deliver mm -hmm. a delivering message. That's right. That's right. Our young men are, are, are they, they, listen, the, the entertainers have the following that they do because of what they represent to our youth. They represent prosperity. And they are ignorant of the fact. What does it really profit a man? If he gains the whole world and spends eternity in a place worse than hell. You need to know, young folk, that there's a place worse than hell. For God is going to throw hell in a worse place than itself. God is going to put the devil and his folk That's my child. Amen. Amen. We extend an invitation. Amen. 